because I had a couple of experiences with the pure protein diet where you not only drop carbs, but you also drop your fat as well, okay? Um, my first time that I had, and I went on a proper diet, okay, where I actually, you know, figured out what I was doing, uh, limited knowledge, limited experience. Before that, I just wanted to get bigger, so I was like, you know, hey, it's the 90s, let's drink, you know, Weight Gain 2000, and, you know, beefcake, and bra, and whatever, and, you know, eat more, and bulk, and cut, but I never cut. Um, you know, and then when I came out of the army, it was like, okay, great, so now here I am, eating a lot and lifting heavy weights, but I stopped running, stopped swimming, stopped doing road marches and stuff, so obviously I ballooned up. And then I wanted to do a uh, martial art, like an amateur MMA kind of competition. And there were weight classes, it was like a tournament format, and there were weight classes, so I went ahead and I had to drop a lot of weight and um, you know, then after that, I had to drop. I, I dropped down like one weight class because it was like there were like huge brackets and weight classes. And then I was like, oh god, I had to drop even more weight because I was like, I'm still fat. You know, I still got quite a bit of fat. I didn't realize how f fat I was because I dropped a bunch of weight and I was still chubby. So I had to get down from like over 200 pounds. I had to get down to like 167, I think. 167 pounds, I think, was the uh, was the weight limit. It was it was in Europe, so it was in kilos. And uh, what I basically did was I thought to myself, well, hey, this is the way it is. You know, protein, you know, um, is what your body needs to, uh, you know, to build muscle, maintain muscle. Carbs just fuel your body, so I'll take that in before and after I work out. And, uh, you know, fat you don't need for anything, so I'll just cut the fat out. Like I said, that was, you know, me thinking back then. I had very limited experience and very limited knowledge. And uh, it worked, okay? And like all the people that were talking about, you know, this Jerry Ward video where they said that it's going to be unhealthy and everything, yeah, I was in a terrible mood, okay? Because if you have carbohydrates and fat, you're okay. If you cut the carbs and increase the fat, you'll still be okay. You know, you won't be in a bad mood. But if you're just living on pure protein, oh my God, you're just miserable to be around. You know, your mind's all jacked up because you have no energy. You know, it's just in a terrible mood constantly. Uh, basically, what I would do is... I worked shifts at that point in my life, okay? So I would basically wake up in the morning, have a bowl of cereal with some, uh, like, granola cereal or whatever with some uh, skim milk in it, and uh, maybe, like, a protein drink or whatever, and then I'd go work out, and I worked out hard. I would do, like, interval running. It's the basis for my anaerobics program is what the exercises were. You know, I do, uh, you know, interval training and, you know, interval jump rope and interval sprints on a track and stuff. Everything was an interval. And I burned a lot of calories. And when I was done with that, I would go ahead and I would drink uh, sugar, okay? Like, you know, simple sugar to go into my body quickly and protein. First of all, I would replenish my glycogen. And second, it would uh, give an insulin spike, which would mean my body would be able to absorb the powdered protein better, okay? And it worked. It was great. You know, if I, I just went ahead and I had some fuel for my workout with the bowl of cereal and the protein shake and then afterwards boom just drank that protein shake with the uh, I didn't even use dextrose powder or anything like that which I did later with my anaerobics diet but at that point I would just hey you know take grape juice or orange juice and you know use that to mix in my uh, my protein with and the rest of the day I would eat every three hours I'd eat basically 30 grams of protein lean chicken that was it just ate chicken all day and man was I miserable but I got very, very, very cut very, very, very quickly, okay? Um, I was eating a lot of carbs, but like I said, though, the thing is, I was basically, um, you know, I was basically eating that just before and after I worked out because, you know, my, my calories are pretty low. I was still losing weight rapidly. Okay, fast forward several years. I wanted for the first time in my life, I wasn't really doing martial arts anymore. I just for one, one time in my life, I just wanted to get really ripped. And that's when I did my anaerobics transformation. Okay? And this is how the anaerobics diet, what I call the anaerobics diet, went ahead and, uh, and developed. Uh, what the anaerobics diet was is I went ahead and I had, you know, some form of carbohydrates before I worked out. And I had a form of simple carbohydrates after I worked out. The rest of the day, no carbs. And I went ahead and I just ate, you know, a bunch of, of uh, lean protein. And I was sitting here thinking to myself, I was like, man, you know, I was, I was being miserable. I wasn't feeling good. I had no energy in the gym, obviously. Okay. So after a few days, I'm like, well, I need to go ahead and change this. So I went ahead and I added in some fruit. So I was like, well, I'll have a green apple. 
okay, which is, you know, it's it's a little bit more sour than a red apple because it's, you know, low sugar. It's just a different kind. It's like a very, you know, it's a good complex carbohydrate. I'll go ahead and I'll do this. And I noticed I was still hungry, even though I was eating protein and carbs. So I'm like, I need to get some fat in here probably. I mean, what else could I possibly do? I ate, I ate you know, protein, pure protein. I was still hungry. Like I would eat it and still be hungry. Eight carbs, you know, and protein, still hungry. Well, let's add some fat in. So I added in some almonds. And then I start feeling good. I'd have the meal and I'd feel satisfied until my next meal. So I'm like, after a while, I'm like, hey, I've got an idea. Why don't I see if I, you know, protein didn't work, protein and carbs didn't work. Let me see if protein and fat will work. So I kept the, the chicken breast, kept the almonds, and then I went ahead and I dropped down the fruit. And lo and behold, I felt great. So now, so that worked actually pretty well. And I noticed is the leaner I got and the more calories I was burning because I was building up. I would do like burpees, but I'd build up to more and more sets of burpees. My plyos, more and more sets. My jump rope intervals, more and more sets. So I was burning more calories, okay? And I was getting leaner, which means I was basically just burning the fat on my body, but after a while, I was burning more and more calories every day, and I had less fat on my body to burn, so I was starting to get hungry. So then I ended up bringing in what I call my high fat meal, okay? It was basic, it was maybe a few eggs, uh, whole eggs, but what it also usually was is just, you know, like a half a pound of hamburger meat I would cook, and I'd eat that once a day, and then I'd have another couple of meals of, um, chicken with almonds and then I'd have another couple meals of pure protein okay and uh, you know that's basically what I did I felt pretty good on that diet so um, what I what I did towards the end is I was burning so many calories and I was so lean at the end of the anabolic uh, the anaerobic diet what I basically thought was um, you know I, I had to I had to increase somehow you know both calories and fat and what I did is I was eating like twice a day I was eating my my high fat meal once a day twice a day I was eating uh, just chicken with almonds so I went ahead and I increased that to chicken with almonds and an equal amount of walnuts still hungry then after that I increased it to um, chicken with almonds with walnuts and with raisins because I didn't understand what was going through with my body. I thought I needed just more and more calories, which is true, but I was still hungry after that. Now, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you that this diet does work very well, but like I said, uh, I, I did make a couple mistakes with it. The first time I made all kinds of mistakes, the second time I made a bunch of mistakes too, uh, because at some point I was taking in 3,500 calories a day, <laughs> okay? Uh, weighed like 175, 177, you know, it depends when I woke up in the morning. And um, I'll just tell you, you know, I was still hungry. I was still hungry, but I was very lean. So what it basically comes down to is, and I'm gonna do a complete other video on how to cycle in and out of the pure protein diet, okay? But what it basically comes down to is I should have increased my fat, okay? Which would have increased my calories. Uh, you know, it was it, 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 total calories for the day. It would have increased the uh, my testosterone because, you know, cholesterol, fat, saturated fat, they're all, um, they are all uh, testosterone precursors, so that boosts your testosterone even more. So that's what I should have done. And like I said, in another video, I'm going to explain to you, using the knowledge that I have now, how to cycle in and out of the pure protein diet from a ketogenic diet. So watch out for that video, it's coming up next.